Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am back with another review and demo video and this one is going to be on a product from the drugstore and it is an eyeshadow palette which I've never filmed a review video on any eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore and I do have a good reason for that. Honestly, I've always just been super disappointed with all the eyeshadow palettes. I've tried pretty much all of them from different brands and they just don't really do the right job for me. I'd rather just save up my $10 and just invest it in a better quality eyeshadow palette um, that may be $50 but it's more worth it and I will use it more. However, when I came across this eyeshadow palette on the Ulta web website, this was honestly rated so high, guys. I couldn't pass. This is the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels palette. The colors are very bold and crazy. Definitely out of my comfort zone, but I do love to test out different palettes and also get out of my comfort zone. So anyways, let's just jump into the demo so you guys can see this crazy, fun color uh, tutorial that I filmed for you guys the other day and you guys can see my first impression and then when we come back I will share with you guys my full thoughts and my overall review on this product. So I'm going to use this second color on the palette as my transition color because clearly there's not really any other matte shades here that I can use as a transition color so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So as you guys can see, the color is not really showing up on my lid, but for the purpose of this video, I didn't want to use another palette to use the color as a transition, so I'm just going to work with what we got. Alright, so next I'm going to apply some of this e.l.f. Mist and Set on this flat brush by Morphe, and I'm just going to go ahead and pick up that green shade, which is a very sparkly green shade, and it's going to be the main focus of this look, and I'm just going to pop it right in the center and pretty much all over my lid. on the palette and I'm just going to apply it in the outer V to smoke out the look. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply this purple color above those two colors. So right above the blue and the green. Just going to apply some more of that purple shade in my inner corners. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply this green eye pencil that is by Urban Decay in my waterline. So let me tell you guys something that I like about this. Um, at the back of this palette, uh, you do get this little sheet with four different looks that it actually gives you, like recommends to you that you can create by using this palette and this palette only. So I do find that to be very useful, especially for beginners or anyone that is not very comfortable with really like bold colors like this. That's going to be quite useful. So good job, CoverGirl, with that. So compared to other eyeshadow palettes, from the drugstore, this is actually much more pigmented than any eyeshadow palette that I've ever used and also the colors, everything was just really great if I'm going to be comparing because as I mentioned to you guys, I've just always been disappointed with the palettes from the drugstore. Now, if I'm going to be just talking about this palette as an individual thing and not comparing it to other ones and just talking about this and just compare it to itself. So as I mentioned to you guys, there are eight shades on this palette and seven of them are all shimmer, like very, very, very shimmering colors. One of them is actually um, a matte color, but it does have just a tiny bit of a shimmer in there as well. So I'm just gonna go really quickly through the shades as well for you guys and do swatches so you guys can kind of get a better idea of how these look on the skin. So the first color on here is this beautiful pearl shade, which is gonna be great to highlight with. The second color is 
is the one that I use as a transition color, which unfortunately didn't even show up really on my skin tone. And it's like a light lavender shade and the only color on the palette that doesn't have as much shimmer in it. Next color is absolutely beautiful. This is going to look really nice in the center of the lid. The purple shade on this palette is nice as well. Not really my favorite uh, as far as the pigmentation goes. The blue shade on the palette, however, once you wet your brush, the color just pops and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a deep blue color. The green shade is also like a deep olive tone and it is beautiful. It's super duper shimmery and definitely do need to apply it wet. Next one is a gold shade, which you can't go wrong with gold. I love a good gold in any palette. Now the black color on this palette does look very shimmering, but unfortunately I do have to say it's not as pigmented as I was hoping it would be. That when it comes down to the colors, they will pop and show if you wet your brush. So really the only way that you're going to get the most out of your color is to wet your brush before applying this color, which there's no problem with that because I actually do that even with my high-end eyeshadows but the one problem I have with it is that means that you're not going to be able to easily create a whole look using this palette only because as you guys saw I ended up using the blue in my outer corner and the purple above the two colors and I had to wet my brush to get any color to show up on my skin and once you wet your brush, it's definitely going to make the color stick and what that's going to do is you won't be able to blend it. So definitely I recommend do not apply these colors like I did in your crease and above your crease. It's just going to be a whole lot of mess. So basically if you guys are going to be purchasing this palette, I recommend that you only use this palette to one, highlight in your inner corners, your brow bone, or just to use it the way that I did with the green shade. Like pop it right in the center of your lid where you don't have to mess with it too much but that as always is just going to be my personal opinion of course everyone's opinion is different and what I like and what you like may be different but this is just my review and kind of like what I got out of this eyeshadow palette and my thoughts on it so anyways my beauties I think that's basically going to be it for my demo and review video today I really really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I love doing these videos I know I say it at the end of every single one of them but honestly I love to review videos for you guys so if you guys are also enjoying them then definitely don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you are new super duper welcome and thank you so much for supporting me and I think that's about it I hope you guys are all having a super fabulous day thank you friends so much for watching and I will see you in my next one Mwah.